Hey everybody, what you saying? Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now, first things first, apart from the really great remix that I've got because of the new DLC, I'm, I swear I'm not trying to plug that or anything. It just, it just, I really enjoy it. Anyway, uh, I also noticed that the uh, Magyar invasion of Bulgaria didn't work. As you can see, Bulgaria is still strong. Bulgaria is still pretty powerful, and the Magyars have disappeared. If I look cultural, yeah, they're not there. So that's cool. Um, that does mean, however, that Hungary still hasn't formed. It's still Pannonia. Ruthenia is almost there with this guy, who is the son of Dia the Stranger. And anyway, back in England. Well, what's well, sort of not England yet, because Wales controls half of it. Uh, Tehubov is currently controlled by a Norse. A lunatic Norse, which just makes it better. I currently control Wessex. My brother controls Quiss. I am his heir, he is rotting in prison, so he's not going to last much longer now, is he? So what I'm going to do is, before that happens, is there anyone I want to get rid of? Anyone that tyranny-wise would be good to go? No one, because I don't have any counts. So that's fine. Um, I'm going to marry off my daughter matrilineally to this guy. Um because she's still the heir. Oh, I got primogeniture. Did I? I didn't realise I had. Fair enough. I must have done the last episode. Sorry, I've forgotten. Um, which is good because that means it all goes to one person, which is very nice. Primogeniture wasn't actually a law until at least, I'm sure, post John the First, as in Bad King John, as in Robin Hood, Bad King John. Um, so that was quite, it's quite interesting learning about all that and like how John had to struggle with the Duke of Brittany for the title. It was, it's all quite interesting stuff. Um, and unfortunately he has a hair lip. I am so sorry. My beautiful Hungifu. I'm so sorry for what I've done to you. But anyway, he's a decent marshal. So even though he's got a hair lip, he can go here and uh, build up. My thing, and special thanks to... Sorry, what's going on here? What are you doing? Independence? Go for it, man. Good luck. Hope it works out for you. And another... What is this? Independence. Go for it. Again, to you. Everyone's insane. Why are you insane? It's insane. Versus... Are they actually fighting or are they just pretending? Do their, do their armies actually have swords or do they just have, like, baguettes or something? Who knows with these with these forces? Now, would I actually be able to take advantage of this? Because they're currently they've, he's had his army split. I could feasibly holy war him right now. Holy war for Essex for a single county. I don't think that's worth it to be honest. Um, that was unfortunate because that would be a, that would be a great time to do so because that's split his lands basically in half. As long as I stay out of the independence army's way, then we'd help each other. But do I want to go for Bedford? For Essex? Right. Um, I'm, I am worried about this army. About this, these 5,000 guys up here. So they may end up being an issue. Uh, how's this war going? 80% in favour of the revolt. Interesting stuff. Um, anyone... With a claim that would come here. Nope. Count of Warwick, who is currently imprisoned by King Ub the Conqueror. Who is King Ub? Is this King Ub? This is King Ub. Oh, cool. Good to meet you, King Ub. Ubbing. Oh! This is, of course, the brother of um, the Great Ones. Sigurd, Snake in the Eye, Half Dan, Bjorn, and Ivar. King Ub. He actually made it. Good job, man. I'm sorry that I'm going to have to kill you and take all your stuff, but yeah, good effort. You don't get given anything at the start of the game, and you've, you've, you've worked with that. Taking what you need. And you're insane, which is just unfortunate. I've got a claim on the county of Devon, which is nice. So that's what I'm going to press now. So this guy is 700 odd guys. I massively outnumber him. Uh, he does have the king of Lothring Lotharingia on his side. Um, but I ha why do I don't want this. I have the King of Aquitaine on my side, so if he brings his ally in, I'm bringing my ally in. But as long as he doesn't, I won't bring mine in. 
So there we go. Claim Devon. And yes, I know it's not technically England, but I do become I do intend to become Britain Walder, so that is Overlord of all Britain. So something's gonna have to give, and unfortunately it's gonna be Devon. And giving it's gonna be given to me. And what the shit are you thinking of doing? I need more count I need more commanders, way more commanders. Men, my religion, my culture. In fact, I'm not fussed either way if they're my religion and culture, they're fighting. Let's go with this guy. So you can become a com no, you can't, apparently. Thought you could. But apparently not. You already my commander? Honestly, I you're my no, you're my marshal, are you? I'm so kind of confused right now. Oh well. Let's go down here, commander him. Okay, so I can do it through there, but not through the main thing. Fair enough. Let's give all these people a half decent marshal. And you can command them. And then this guy's actually the best that I have. So you're going to get to Dorset on the 1st of 20... Okay, now you're there. I'm going to go fight you. I've caught you. And I'm going to kill you. 45% war score. Not too bad. March into Devon. I will occupy this. Um, when he appears with an army in Cornwall. And this has been raided, so that actually works quite nicely for me. I'm going to split this force in half. One can go and kill the army in Cornwall. And then double back. Bollocks, I've just made them lose the battle because I misclicked. I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm going to go catch them. That was perfectly timed. Without checking, I knew when to move my army. Which is good, because last time I forgot when to move my army and moved it in the middle of a battle and that sort of confused them and made them run. Which is always annoying. That's so, so annoying. I've lost so many vital wars just with that mistake. It's just so infuriating because it's so easily done. Um, but it's just, it ruins everything because you, you can't cancel it. It immediately begins the route. Which is obviously good to do sometimes when you're, like, say you've got a skirmish heavy army and it gets into melee phase against a melee heavy army, that's when you want to get out of there. Because yes, you'll lose the battle, but you've killed a lot of their troops, you can go back and win the next seven or so. Um, whereas if you stay and try and fight, you'll end up losing all your forces anyway. And you want me to help you... Oh no, they're holy warring for powers. Uh, why are we allied? I didn't realise we were. But okay, yes, I'll join your war. I don't need to help you. Oh, I know I should have attacked. He's going to lose so many troops now. And I could take this chance to Holy War for Bedford. Because if uh, Jorvik hasn't got involved, they haven't. Maybe they won't mind if I Holy War for Essex and take Bedford. Maybe they won't mind. Who knows? Not me, because I can't do it. And I've had an my wife is uh, pregnant again. Um... 85%. Good stuff. Okay, so that army's... They're, they're going to die now. Has Jorvik got involved? Jorvik has gotten involved. This is this is why I didn't want to. Ah, well. It's alright. The Welsh are the Welsh. They're not Anglo-Saxon pure. They will eventually struggle under my reign anyway, so I don't really mind. Let's have a swig. And this... Oh! Judith! What a fantastic name. That just makes me think of like a character from Vikings. Which is just amazing anyway. She's attractive as well. An attractive infant. I yeah, weird. So I'm gonna claim this. Lovely stuff. What do you mean, title loss? County of Devon. I get the county of Devon, don't I? Devon. Okay, there we go, it's it's fixed. It just it just panics for a second. So, disband them. So Wessex has, has sort of blobbed a little bit. Even while... Sorry, what? How the... He was in prison! Sh he is not his son. That is not... He was. He has been in prison for the last, like, five years, and he's two. So... Something's not quite right there, is it? But I can press that claim on him. Or just have him killed. Quite easily have him killed. Claim Essex. Press all, I could press all claims and get all of that. Because I'm his heir anyway. 
so I could get those uh, those bits of land directly, then inherit it anyway. That is actually what I'm going to do. So I press, if I, I gain little counties, don't I? Yes. Yes. So I claim on Essex, Middlesex, and I'll have Whis. So press all claims. Does that? Yes, it gets me everything. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, declare war. Raise my levies. Group everyone in Wessex. And let's go to war, shall we? I do not have any domain size left to actually hold this, but these lands that I've taken, that I'm going to take. So that sucks. I'm leading a flank. That's probably not the best place for me, but it will do. Because I've caught the army and I'm crushing them. So this kid is now going to uh, rue the day that he dared, you know, um, be born. I mean, it's not really his fault. He didn't have much to do with it. He was probably, he was dragged kicking and screaming into the world. So he probably, he, I understand that he wasn't really a fan of it in the first place. He probably knew what was going to happen. And I've contracted consumption. That's what's going to happen. That is just unfortunate timing because if this kid... Oh no, because I, I inherit the claims anyway, so it's not too too bad. But I do need to go deal with that army because it's looking like it might go and be able to do some damage. Yes, it can actually occupy land. But I'll take this first and then I'll go and kill Wessex. Not kill Wessex, I'm Wessex. Kill uh, this army of Bedford, of Whis. So I'll take that out and... Yeah, then this kid will... I'll inherit... Wessex and Kent anyway, so that's fine. I mean, I might end up giving Where's Canterbury? There's Canterbury. I'd quite like to have an Archbishop of Canter Canterbury, which means giving the duchy to the Bishop of Canterbury, which would be quite nice. I'd like to do that, just for, like, law reasons. And holy crap. So they, they became independent. Good job. Yingling? Sorry, when did you get this? History. Why did he and... What? Why did the Norway... Why did that happen? And why does Sjælland control... I am... Some crazy, crazy inheritance going on right now. That guy must have died right now and it's gone to a random... Um, random courtier in the world. Of the same culture and dynasty. Culture and uh, religion. Fair enough. Didn't expect it to be, be the Yingling though. Siege of Westminster is going well. Let's go kill this army. I forgot about that. Are you going to get away? Yes, you will. I may be able to catch you. 20th. I will catch you. Good. Consider yourself caught. And very dead. Cool. 80% war score now. That's fully... Uh, no, that's fully occupied Surrey, I think. Actually, no. Let's think about this. Who is his most powerful vassal? Uh, Middlesex. Okay, so I'm taking that land anyway. Sussex and Oxford. So if I go for Sussex, that means if I uh, reduce his walls and his forces, that means he's less likely to be able to muster any sort of faction against me. If he so wished to do so. He may not. He may be like, oh, great. Alfred the Great. You're not called Alfred the Great. Yep, you will be. I can tell. And that's, that's when they might like me. That's my, that's my hope. Now, um... Assuming, of course, that I get to the point where I can create the Kingdom of England, which is obviously 51% of the du jour counties controlled, um, I don't think I will if I'm still Alfred, because he didn't in in the history books, anyway. Uh, I'd need 15, so I'd get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, on top of my 12, to my 4, so that'd be 12, so I need 3 more. Um, he didn't, he just claimed uh, Britainwald over them. Over the other kingdoms. He didn't actually uh, sort of create the kingdom as such. It was his grandson, I think. My history may not be spot on there, but I think so. Um, and you, what? Why are you suddenly... She's had a son, that's why. She has incredible martial, holy crap. I forgot how good she was. She's an aggressive leader and she doesn't get to lead troops. It's tragedy. Make it, I might make a Kather. That would be worthwhile. Um, but anyway... Yeah, so the Breton populace, populace in Devon has become Anglo-Saxon. Good stuff. Very good stuff indeed. Glad to hear it. So yeah, 
Um, very... If, if that was the case, then I wouldn't actually create the kingdom title as such. I may try, as an added challenge, to control all of Britain as a count. Not as a count, as a, as a duke. So I can currently have 22 vassals. So all of England is 29. So just about I could control all of England if I also had a larger domain. That's basically it. That could be quite cool. And I am a lunatic. Everyone's a lunatic right now, including me. So this is this will be fun. Um yeah, so maybe I won't, won't be known as Alfred the Great. Maybe I'll be known as Alfred um oh, the usurper. Okay, maybe I'll be known as Alfred the fucking pneumonic and lunatic. So I'm no longer dying, which is good because now I'm just a lunatic. It's great. Um might be known as the Mad, which would be an interesting twist on history. But yeah, so that might be my my um sort of sort of challenge, just because then I have to deal with a lot more vassals. But at the same time, I quite like the idea of forming England with dukes at my back, making several powerful dukes rather than lots of weak. For God's sake, it hasn't happened. So I got Huiss, got Gloucester, but this guy's kept Kent, and I'm still his heir. Right, so let's let's get this army out of here. Um, that's amazing. Why have I gained a thing? Is it because I've got two ducal titles? I'm a great duke. Ah, because I control more than one more than one ducal title. So there we go. So yeah, got two vassals, both Anglo-Saxon, both Catholic. This guy does not like me. I'm gonna try and kill him. See how well this goes. Um, my wife is pregnant. Good, good stuff. She's had another daughter. So I've had three daughters so far. Maybe this will be a son. Which would kind of suck, to be honest, because I don't want, um, to have to have a regency right now. That would, that would not be good. But I'm going to go for rulership. Just see what happens. And I can claim Oxford versus King Alfred the Usurper. No, for me. Sorry. And a weak claim on the county of Suffolk. Where is Suffolk? There is Suffolk. Why that would be... Oh my god, he's lost all his... Wow. Oh, he's converted. Okay, so your vic is going to stay. They're not going to get Holy Ward into oblivion, so I need to sort of deal with that myself. I can claim Suffolk for random people. Um, I might make him a tributary. Make a tributary. Uh, I become his sovereign. Yes. Does he have any allies? Not of any notice. So let's make him a tributary. And I've all of a sudden gained domain score. Why has that happened? I don't know. I'm so confused. Okay, so I uh, yeah, I'm Duke of Whis. I'm gonna call my allies into this, I think. Let's make fully sure that Jorvik knows who's who's boss. And yes, I don't gain any land from it, but at the moment it's only be weak claims anyway, so. For, for people I don't really care about. Build the castle. Yes, why not? And King Carloman of Aquitaine will join me in the war. Fantastic news. And so will my, my nephew, even, even though, you know, I just took his land. Even then, he's just like, cool. Good job, man. Yeah, you, you showed me, didn't you? Let's go kill some people. That's that's probably that's that's family love, isn't it? Really, I might keep him around just for that. So yeah, I we're gonna invade Suffolk. We're gonna make our way up the coast. Let him come to me with whatever army he's going to bring to battle. He's gaining quite a bit back, but I think he's heading to Essex. Interesting move. I'm going to come from the north and sort of hopefully crush you because you've got no defensive bonuses. Uh, and yeah, cool. So you're heading back to Suffolk. Let's, uh, let's attack him, kill him. Good stuff. This is actually the first tributary war that I've uh, ever fought. Either defensive or uh, offensive. So this is interesting. I want to see exactly what happens. And Aquitaine showed up. Just like, oh yeah, we're doing loads. And you, you, what are you doing? That's not right. In prison. Lock away in dungeon. Good, good job. 
you can sort of sit there now, can't you? So yeah, he was trying to fabricate a claim, so now he's rotting in prison. Which is good, that's the way it should be. So, I now have 9,000 guys, I'm going to rush this down. And hopefully, I'll end this war before I have to end the episode. Because I've got a few seconds left before I would say I'm, I'm fully over. Probably completely wrong there. Okay, I'm not going to be out in this war, so I'll end this war next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.